All right, folks, welcome back. Just another real quick one here. I'm gonna be going over how I have my Helix 7 set up and how I made my DIY milk crate shuttle here um, for my Helix 7. And in this video, basically, I'm gonna show you how I have it set up. I'm gonna tear this down, show you how I connected everything. And we're gonna get right into it. I'll show you guys how I have it set up first, then we'll tear it down. So here's my Helix 7, it's in simulation mode. And I have my Helix 7 connected to the bracket that it comes with under here. So that's what you'd hook to either like your kayak or your boat. And I have it going to a ram mount here, just your standard ram mount. And I had that kicking around and uh, I put it on here just so it elevates it a little bit. And I can also turn it um, and just make it a little more easy to see. Something else I do real quick is when I'm done and I'm transporting it, I actually turn this around and face it in that way just so it protects the screen a little better and my transducer I just tuck over to the side here and it kind of just keeps it nice and nice and protected out of the way and one thing I like about the milk crate is my transducer never freezes to the bottom of the milk crate my marker unit had like a plastic cup that it set in and the transducer would always freeze in there so that was kind of a pain but I haven't had that problem with this milk crate so that's kind of a bonus because all the water just kind of drains out of these holes here and there's really not much to freeze to. So that's basically the front of it. The back of it here, I have this little piece that came from this wall here and I just have this here just to protect the battery and the, the wires. I didn't want to have it completely exposed because when you're moving around, you know, it's easy to bump these and hook them on stuff and I didn't want to be yanking these out all the time. So this just helps to protect the battery a little bit. And this is just a bungee I had kicking around. This stuff's good to have on hand. I use this stuff all the time. And this is just really simple. I wanted this whole setup to be really simple. And what I do is I just kind of twist this in here. And I've never had that come out bouncing around in my jet sled, it's never been a problem. And it just protects everything. And the battery I have on this is the Amped Outdoors Lithium battery. This is a 12 volt, 18 amp hour battery. And so far I really like this battery. I've had this, I don't know, I'm right around 20 hours and uh, the unit still registers 100%. That, that's how the lithiums go, you know, they run pretty flat and when they crash, they crash hard. But so far I've had this battery 20 hours and I haven't charged it yet. I'm just kind of roughly seeing what I can get. But so far I really like the lithium, um, especially running these big units, you know, they go through the standard batteries pretty fast. And I went the DIY shuttle route because the one from Hummingbird is like 120 bucks and I just didn't want to spend that. I knew I'd be getting a lithium battery and I didn't want to spend 120 for the, the battery and you know 120 for the shuttle. So I decided to go the lithium battery route and just make a shuttle. I knew I could either make one with stuff I had at home or go to the store and make one for the fraction of what Hummingbird was asking for their shuttle. And initially, this was designed just to be kind of a one and done shuttle. I knew my brother and I had a crappie trip coming up and I really wanted to get some good footage on camera because the Helix 7 shows way better than my Markham did. And I was really slacking on getting my Helix 7 on the ice. I had this all last season. Had planned on setting it up, but never did. And it was kind of going that same same way this season. I was just using my Markham and, and I knew I wanted to get this on the ice. So I actually made this shuttle the day before my brother and I went fishing and it took me maybe 20 minutes to do. And uh, it was actually a really easy build. I did cut this out with a jigsaw. You can cut this with like a regular handsaw. I did half a side uh, with a handsaw and it cut fine, but I used a jigsaw just to speed the time up a little bit. So we're gonna get right into it guys. I'm gonna tear this down and I'm gonna show you guys how I set it up. All right, so we're pretty well stripped down. I did leave a few things on just for the sake of time. I left my ram mount bolted on and I left my Velcro straps that I used to strap my battery in. But this is pretty much what it looks like. And the first thing I did is I put these little rubber feet these are like $2 at Home Depot. These are just like furniture feet. And what I did is I just screwed them into the bottom of the milk crate. And the feet just help to keep this elevated off the ice. You know, in case you're fishing around in like slush, it helps to prevent it from freezing. And I haven't had it freeze once. So, you know, them feet I think help pretty good. Really, there's nothing fancy with a ram mount. I just put two bolts through with a nylon lock nuts. And uh, these have held strong. They haven't moved at all. And securing my battery, I use these Velcro straps. I had these kicking around. You could literally use anything. I mean, you could make a bracket. You could um, use like the backpack strap pull downs. 
you know, the options are pretty much endless. I had these Velcro straps kicking around, so that's what I used. But you guys can get creative, you know, use whatever you have around the house or go out and buy something. But this is what I use, and that battery doesn't move at all. All right, so now let's get right into the box itself. As you guys can see, I kept this lip all the way around. I didn't cut that out. I wanted to keep that just for a little protection for the battery uh, so it would keep my transducer in from falling out. So I kept this lip all the way around. As you can see, I kept two sides that are cut equal um, down this way. And as you can see, this just comes up and forms my handle, which is all solid into the box. So the next thing we're gonna get into is the middle handle. This middle handle was one of the sides I had cut off. So what I did with this handle is I just run a zip tie through these holes here, go through this side handle. Just gonna keep these relatively loose till I get everything lined up where I want it to. Same on this side. Okay, and I try to keep this, you know, in here center as much as I can. And my unit is completely balanced too when I'm out on the ice with it, which is really nice. So them two are on. Now we're gonna zip tie down here on the side. Again, just keeping everything relatively loose until I get this lined up right. And we're gonna go at this same point here. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to keep this in line with this lip here. And I'm gonna do a few zip ties from this wing down here through the bottom. Okay, this is the second one on the bottom. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just snug the top ones up. And we're just gonna snug up the bottom ones here. And there's our middle handle, nice and solid. It doesn't move, it doesn't budge at all. So I'm just gonna hide these down a little bit so they're not sticking out. And same with all the ones on the side. I'm gonna try to hide these, you know, in the actual shuttle. And now we're just gonna trim all the tag ends. Okay, tag ends are all clipped. And that's that. So now we're just gonna get the Get the ram mount on. Okay, so now we're on the ram mount. Now we'll get the battery hooked up. And the Velcro work really well for what I need. Like I said, you could do this probably a million different ways, but the Velcro works pretty good for me. Okay, the battery's in solid, not gonna go anywhere. So the transducer, what I do, is I keep you know just enough line to use and then I wrap up the rest of it and here's how I manage my cords I just wrap up all the extra and leave just enough to functionally use when I'm on the ice and when I'm done I guess I just tuck everything in the side there and now we just got to hook up the power nothing fancy with that and with the power cord what I do is I just kind of sneak this back here and I zip tie this little wire bundle here so that doesn't move around. And that just keeps that in place. So them wires don't, you know, get hung up. And that's pretty much it guys. Um, last thing we have is this plate here. Like I said, this is just for added protection. And what I do is I just use these four wings I drilled four holes and them wings will zip tie too. So we'll just zip tie this up real quick. And this you want relatively loose so it doesn't snag around when you're moving it. Okay, so just a rough fit. Like I said, you want these relatively loose. You know, I don't have these very tight. I want this to be pretty much free moving, which that's pretty good. And they're all relatively even. So that's where we're going to leave it. Just going to snip these. And there you have it, guys. That is how I set my Helix 7 shuttle up for pretty cheap. 
all in all I have probably less than 10 bucks into this with the exception of the ram mount that I already had you know that'll obviously add a little money if you want to go that route but yeah pretty cheap works good and like I said at the beginning of the video this was designed just to be kind of a one and done I didn't expect to actually use this but it works so good that I, I, I kept with it there is one other uh, setup I may try I may give that a try here in another week or so but for what I need this thing works as you can see that's completely balanced you know the battery completely balances the unit there and uh, it just works you know I mean it, it works really good I mean a big benefit like I said is I've never had my transducer freeze like I do with my Markham my Markham froze all the time in that little holder cup but we're gonna wrap it up there guys if you guys have any questions feel free to ask thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one